I'm Rick from the Luminary Shop. You may recall last week that I left you with some new spun parts to rebuild the tops of these lamps. Now most of my projects kind of go along with that old saw about the elephant and how you eat one. It's this one bite at a time. So this project, like many of my other projects, has many bites. And by the time I get done with these, I'll probably have 60 or 65 hours invested. In this week's video, I'll build up these tops, repair some dings and dents like the caved in part of this tail cup, and we'll clean up the interior liners and finally get everything all ready to put back together. Next week, I'll finish putting them together. Uh, we'll do all the painting. I'll show you how I did that. And finally, we'll light them up so you can see the end result. So thanks for your interest and your patience. These are the new parts and the old parts that I'm going to put together to rebuild these lamp tops. First I'll wire brush the decorative brass bands that go around the outsides of these lamp tops. The brush I use is .006, that's six one thousandths of an inch bristles. Here I'll solder the original brass band to the new replacement spinnings. You'll notice that I use hose clamps of various sizes to hold pieces together when I'm soldering. The next step is to solder the original perforated ventilation strips to the base spinning.
The top tier of the head goes on next. The upper perforated ventilation ring is soldered into the finial cap. The upper finial assembly with the ventilation ring is then soldered into the rest of the assembly making a complete head. And there we have it, just like new. I have used that fine wire brush again to clean up the solder joints. And now I'm going about polishing the brass ring that will be polished and bright when the lamps are all done. I use a red rouge polishing stick to do that with.
And here are the finished tops, ready to go on the lamps and the old parts that I replaced. There's a caved in place on this tail cup, so I'll take it off and ding it out, put it back together again. The tail cup is soldered in two different places, at the greater diameter at the bottom and the smaller diameter at the top. The trick is to use enough heat to get those two joints to come apart without using so much heat that other parts of the lamp, in this case the tail part, come apart and get out of line. I'll use both soft and hard faced hammers as well as soft and hard anvils to achieve what I want to in straightening this part. I'll clean a little solder off the bottom of this. I use an acid-based flux that cleans the metal, removes tarnish, and helps break down the surface tension of the solder so that it flows more readily. I'm also very careful to wipe it off the metal when I'm done so that I don't end up with it under the paint or eating on the metal.
It's important to get this ring located correctly so that the lamp will fit just right in the mounting bracket on the vehicle and be held tightly. This is a great time to polish the liners for the first time. Just get all the dirt off and the tarnish worked out a little bit. You can get into the corners without glass and other things in the way. It's just a great time to do your first polishing. This is also a good time to get all those little nooks and crannies cleaned out. A little bit of emery cloth to take out the rust and little bits of paint. Just a good time to do it. Next week I'll get the glass and heads installed, the painting done, and hopefully we'll get to see the end of this project. As always, thanks for watching.